what's up you guys how are you guys doing today hope you guys are well hope you guys are blessed and highly favored okay in today's video i'm going to be talking about um how i got saved in my testimony and you know i get the question a lot on like you know how did i get saved what was my story and so i realized that i never shot a video about it so i'm like let me do that today. Okay, so it started back in 2020. And as we all know, in 2020, there was a virus going around and everything was shutting down. Everything was closing at the time. I was a junior year in high school and I had just started my lash business, you know? So let me give you a little backstory. So around this time, I just started my lash, my lash business and you know i'm getting into my entrepreneur bag you know i used to be making my little sales during school i'm having all these big visions i'm like yes i'm about to be an entrepreneur i'm about to have this big lash business you know what i'm saying everybody in the school about to be wearing my lashes like yeah i was like yeah this is about to blow up and then just a little backstory on my upbringing my grandma is saved um and my family are believers but not all of them are saved i always had that influence around me um having a woman of god knowing what a woman of god looks like knowing how to how a woman of god moves when i was younger like i would say elementary school we used to go to church every sunday um in the church i would go to it was kind of like a lot of older people so it wasn't like you know i was excited to go to church i'm just like I'm going to church with all these older people and i'm probably just gonna take a nap when i get there like that was my mindset at the time and for some reason every time i went to church when i was younger i used to cry like every time any type of sad music would just make me cry <laughs> like bro it would be sometimes we would even be in the car and a sad music come on and i'm just gonna start busting out crying i don't even know i think that was like a spirit of depression i don't know what that was a spirit of sadness but Bro, I used to have to run to the bathroom if I was out and it was going to be a sad, a slow song playing. Bro, I'm going to cry. I got to go to the bathroom. Okay. We kind of stopped going to church consistently when I kind of got to like middle school. We used to watch church online and stuff like that, but we didn't really, but we didn't go. Not even didn't really. We didn't go. I know some people be having some crazy stories on different things they used to do. And I don't, I wasn't like out here in the world crazy but i would say like i definitely had my fair share of the world i used to smoke i used to deal with depression anxiety i used to have a very bad skin condition called eczema i used to be going to parties and i used to i used to have a very 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 bad cussing problem like to the point where i'm in class and a teacher is like you need to chill like i couldn't even say a word without cussing okay and yeah like even what like i said with the smoking thing I used to smoke, um, but that didn't really start until like high school. The influence of the people around me got to me because when I was in school, bro, everybody smoking, everybody smoking. Like lunchtime, you want to go light up, you want to go match. Like all my friends were smokers. It was just my environment. So eventually, it ended up getting to me, and I eventually did fall into the trap of getting high so i used to take edibles i had bought a weed pen before and i would just smoke the weed pen every time before i go to bed and i used to light up during lunch and i don't know it's kind of crazy because even when i did smoke like that didn't even really help me for real like that sometimes it would just make the anxiety worse so i don't even know why i did that it's dumb okay but, like you have your little high and then after that you just over here dealing with all this anxiety. And I've also had other experiences. Like, I remember when I was in fifth grade, I witnessed somebody in my family, somebody in my family literally getting into a shootout right in front of the house, right in the street, right on the sidewalk, a shootout right in front of my face. Um, I experienced that, you know, it's it's a lot like i'm not trying to get too deep but i definitely experienced a lot um it's like i'm not trying to trauma dump on y'all you know what i'm saying like this is about my testimony this isn't about my trauma so let's let's move on 
And the reason why I was saying that is because I want you guys to relate to my story. Like, I was not, you know, raised in a perfect family household. I wasn't raised with the perfect upbringing. Like, we all live in sin. Nobody is perfect, you know. I'm very, 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 very grateful for my family, though, because they did the best they could. But because we live in such a broken, corrupted world, there's some things that's just going to happen. And those things are called generational curses. OK, so boom, that was my upbringing. Now let's fast forward into my testimony. OK, so and now it's 2020. And, you know, I'm starting this lash business, you know, stepping into my entrepreneur bag, like I already told y'all. My mindset really started to be more motivated and inspired. And I really was like, I think I like this little life. Like, that's really how life started to feel. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Now you see, you know, clothes, stores shutting down. You know what I'm saying? Schools in this state, schools in this state shutting down. And I remember I had this whole conversation with some friends in my science class. And they were just talking about how they think our school is going to shut down and stuff like that. And, you know, me, I'm like, I'll be in my optimistic bag sometimes. And I was just like, no, they like they're not going to shut down. Really trying to have hope for real, you know, because I really didn't want school to shut out, shut down. Because keep in mind, I just I'm all motivated. I'm all inspired. The last thing I want is for school to shut down. So, boom, fast forward, school shuts down. And, you know. It was starting to get really depressing because every time you go on social media, this amount of people died, this amount of people died, this amount of people died. You go outside, it's barely people driving down the street, you know what I'm saying? The stores closed, you got to wear masks, and it, it just it was starting to get really depressing. I'm thinking all this, this sickness was going to just go away. Like, this is my first time experiencing something like this in life like this was my first time you know i'm only 21 it's only my third day out here so now the world is shutting down basically that's how i felt i'm like oh no the, the world is ending i started thinking about how i just started stepping into my purpose i just started stepping into my you know dreams i just started having all these dreams and aspirations and now the world want to shut down like it felt like my dreams were crushed bro because i'm like if the world is ending who gonna buy my lashes? <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just joking. That That's kind of selfish to think. But I really was starting to get depressed because now I'm thinking about family. I'm thinking about friends. You know, I now want my, everybody around me to be safe. And it just started to become something bigger than what I thought it was going to be. And so one day, one random morning, I still remember the day like it was yesterday. I had just got a fresh wash, a fresh silk press with a trim and a hydration in my hair. And you know what I'm saying? I have my silk press, I have my bonnet on. Like, I still remember the day. But, anyways, one random morning, I wake up. And around these days, I was waking up and going straight on Instagram, which not recommended. But, um, woke up. You know, went on YouTube. I'm scrolling, trying to find something, you know, about to watch a little video. And then I see this video come up. And it's talking about a uh, rapture, world ending. It says something like that. Something about the rapture and the world ending and God coming back, right? So around this time, I actually started praying. Um, And it wasn't like around the time COVID hit, but it was like a month before that, like, I think COVID hit like in February of 2020. I would say I started praying in like January of 2020. Just little prayers like, Lord, I would just be on a bus looking outside. Like, God, I just pray you protect my family. I pray that I have a good, you know, I pray that I have um, a good day. I wasn't reading my Bible. I wasn't doing these deep prayers. Just cool little three minute prayers while I'm on my way to school or while I'm getting ready for school, while I'm getting ready for the day. Like just cool little little short prayers so with this video coming up on my screen i'm like oh i've already kind of been trying to get right with god and you over here saying god coming back i already think the world ending so i click the video i'm watching it i'm watching it he's just saying you know get right with god the rapture is happening you know what i'm saying god's coming back soon you don't wait any longer you know all this stuff and i'm just like dang that's crazy like god is coming back and I was like, hmm, 
I do need to get right with God because I ha- I don't have a relationship with God. Like, I used to call myself Christian, and I used to not, like, play about God, like, you know, like, joking, a- a- joking around about the Holy Spirit, joking around about Christianity. I just didn't have a relationship with God. So, yeah, I'm watching a video, and he's just saying, you know, God, coming back, get right with God. And it really started to inspire me because I'm like, dang, like, I do need to get right with God. So at the end of the video, he said a prayer, and he was like, if you're still watching this video, I, w- I want to say a prayer over you. Bow your head, and we're going to pray. So I'm like, okay, bet. I bow my head, and he praying. Next thing you know, I start feeling something coming down my face. I start crying. And then at the end of the prayer, he was like, if you just cried, you know, during that prayer, then praise God, glory to God. And he was saying it was a good thing. But I'm like, I don't know what that means. But I didn't really ponder on it a lot. I was just like, okay, that's it. Next thing you know, moving forward, I start wanting to read the Bible. I literally, like, after that prayer in that video, that depression, that heavy spirit that was over me, was removed i was just like you know what it's in god's hands like i just trust god i trust that you know my life is in god's hands and however god wants this to plan out is going to plan out but i have no control over it so i'm not going to worry about it but instead i'm going to trust the one who does have control over it and who has my best interest at heart i just started feeling so much peace about life i didn't automatically stop cussing i didn't automatically stop smoking i didn't automatically stop listening to secular music and all this stuff but i do remember i was like okay you know what I think like a few days went by and I was like, okay, um, instead of smoking like every day, I'm going to just smoke on holidays. That's what I told myself because I knew that smoking every day was just very counterproductive. Next thing you know, holiday comes and I'm like, I actually don't want to smoke no more. And then next thing you know, I'm not cussing, but instead I'm preaching God's word. Ever since that video, like I started to feel so excited to read the Bible. Like I found, I think I asked my grandma if she had an extra Bible and she actually had an extra one sitting up and it was a study Bible. So it explained all the verses at the bottom and it was so helpful to my walk. After I gave my life to him, bro, like God just changed my whole life around in one year. Like, by the end of 2020, I was a totally different person. Like, I even used to practice astrology, like zodiac signs and stuff like that. I used to kind of study that a little bit. And God just wiped me clean of that. Like, God was removing the veil from my eyes. And it really started to feel like a fresh fire was upon me. And also, it was crazy because 2020, I also experienced a lot, a lot of spiritual warfare. But... I'm thankful for that because I now know that that spiritual warfare was God just consecrating me in him. So, yeah, y'all, that's my testimony on how I got saved, when I got saved, and my whole backstory. Um, If y'all have any questions or any video ideas y'all want me to make, comment them down below. Also, make sure you guys support my Christian streetwear brand, Wise Label. Um, Let me show y'all the back. If you're not walking wisely with God, you're doing life wrong. All my personal socials are linked down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see y'all in my next video.